Hey LCC family, Pastor Mike coming to you here on a Wednesday night. Just wanted to touch base with you and remind you that this Monday, starting uh, 6.30 p.m., we're going to have a little bit of time of worship and some ministry time, but then we're going to be digging into Ezra chapter 1. We're going to go through this whole book. We'll be in it for quite some time, but I asked you to read through Ezra chapter 1 even a few times because I'm really looking for you to bring some insight and some thoughts about this chapter as well as what you're going to hear from me, and we'll break up into some groups to discuss this chapter. Um, but I want to read to you something. Uh, I found it so cool as I began to read this myself. Um, I'm just going to read you the first verse because I want to I want you to get the, the realization of why we're going to be in this book, why I feel like God is putting us in this book. So Ezra chapter 1, verse 1, I'm just going to read to you one sentence. It says, In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. When I read that, I said, What word is that talking about? This was a prophecy. It's alluding to a prophecy. It says, In order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. I said, What prophecy is that? So I did some research. I did some studying. And I came to realize that the prophecy that this is alluding to, that it's talking to, is found in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 10. Now, you guys all know this part of the Bible. You've heard it many times. But this is the prophecy that Ezra is talking about. It says, verse 10, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place, Israel. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Sound familiar? We've all heard this. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and, I will and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. And I will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. I'm so excited to get into this book just because of the prophecy that this book is built on. The, the foundation of this book is all about God's plan to rebuild. It's all about God's plan to return hope. It's all about God's plan for restoration. And we all need that. I know some of the, there's people in our church, there's areas of your life where you need to have something rebuilt. Start, a, start afresh. Where you need hope just infused into you. Where you need restoration. God bringing things back. Bringing people back. Bringing you back to the place where you know you're supposed to be. I'm so excited to get into this book. I really feel like this is what God has for us. I really feel like it's going to be great for us to dig into this. So I'm really looking forward to it. Please take some time and read it. Please take some time to let it set in your heart and think about some things that jump out at you and understand that God wants to rebuild things. He wants to return hope and he wants to bring restoration. I will see you Monday at 630. This is going to be such good stuff to dig into. Please come ready for that. Monday, 6.30. See you. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. could definitely use it right now because we are all in this together.